Hello guys and welcome to another Stobart model reviews. In this edition I'll be reviewing this, it's a Corgi 176 scale Eddie Stobart model. I've got another one, they were selling one at the Stobart festival. Uh, this model is number 2932 of only 3000 made. I'm not too sure what my other one I have that's in my room. I'll get back to you on that one. Uh, it basically comes with a little card in with it telling you about the company and the club benefits and on the back we have a limited edition number it is Corgi model CP18111 and it's a Scanny R curtain side Eddie Stobart limited it's a limited edition as the box says and is made by Corgi so let's get on with the review and as you can probably tell it's a lot like an Atlas Edition model it's a shame Corgi have stopped making the 176 scale range they're only going to be making the 150 scale models now and the little toys don't know why they've chose to do that because the big models are way too expensive this cost me £25 I think it was at the festival about the same online there's a few others I bought there as well which I'll be reviewing so the trailer detaches more easily than at Oxford so I'll put the trailer to one side and we'll focus with the cab so onto the front her name is Amy Beth She's a Scania R420 series, but high-line version, I think, with the high cab. Uh, number plate is PX08BDZ, and this one has got excellent uh, cab wrapping details. Better quality than what's on uh, the Oxford and Atlases. Uh, the fleet number is H3831 uh, It's got the old Stobart website But if you tap that in it auto redirects you to the new one uh, It's a six wheel tractor unit it's Got the plate there, great detail in the fifth wheel and all these components behind here So that's the cab onto the trailer. It's got quite a bit of weight in this trailer, but like the Oxfords and that, it does lean when you take it off of the cab unit. So the side, it's Eddie Stobart delivering sustainable distribution, and it's a six wheeled trailer as well. On the back. Eddie Stobart, stobartgroup.com so why they put the new website on on the trailer but on the cab it's got the old I'm not too sure in the corner of the trailer and the doors here we've got the fleet number for the trailer excellent detailing of the plate and the lights on this trailer whereas the Oxford and Atlas ones it's bit of a stickery design and this is actually painted detail so onto this side of the model it's the same as the other I'd recommend you buy one of these before they're all gone because I've been looking on um, eBay before I found these at the Stobart Festival they're uh, going for about £45 when I saw that I thought, nah, forget it. I'm not paying £45 for them just yet. Now, as you might have noticed, there's a little hole there and there's one on the other side. That's because you can add the mirrors. They're still in the box at the moment. I'm going to add them when I get it put on the model. Um, I will find out that number for you and I'll pop it in the description below or as a comment below I will so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time
Well, I'll be reviewing the uh, Oxford Diecast bus, Laura Abbey.